try it out. Okay, so Scott, yes. you took the 125 out for a ride. Yeah. And uh, it's a 125. It's a 125. Yeah. So you know how to make things a little better for us, right? You bet. We're gonna and you're going to give us a lot of manpower here. So what's the hot ticket? How are we going to make this happen? Add more header length to it on the expansion chamber, which is about there. Okay. How much you going to add? Try 15 millimeters. So you've done this before and had good results? Yeah, I've done it to uh, a lot of bikes. Q, you, you've seen this done? Lots of these. No? Nope. You probably blew out a few pipes, so. <laughs> How many times have you done the pipe on the 300 you Uh, which pipe? <laughs> each, each pipe I've done like three times. <laughs> Just depends who I let ride it. Okay, so this is your little uh, spacer you've made. What did you make this out of? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh. It came from your pile. <laughs> Anyways, I guess you could use just about anything that, uh, yeah, close the that's size. about the same diameter. Yeah. Exhaust tubing is the best, but uh, oh, you got any, any steel awesome. tubing will work. I think they'll go small. Yeah, you could work some pretty good magic with that thing. I remember the pipe you... Uh, that gnarly pipe you fixed for me. Oh, it was yeah. pretty smashed, Jim. That was from your big crash on uh, power. Yeah, I blew the corner. Yeah. Do that once in a while. That ride that uh, Huey and I took you back on yesterday through the bush there, that was the one after you were all barked up. You'd had enough there. You were oh, yeah, and getting the sticks that. were hitting my yeah. my open wounds. Yeah, your wounds. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, that's enough, yeah, guys. That's right. enough. We got to right. find some trails with less <laughs> sticks in them. <laughs> that was a pretty good uh, description you gave us on recovering the seeds. Are you going to give it a shot now? I, I, well, I'm gonna have to. I got <laughs> I got two to do already. <laughs> make it make a business out of. Oh, out of okay. It. Good description on what? On uh, how to recover a seat. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we posted on the YouTube channel there. Kirsten's an expert at it now. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, but it was. Do you buy kits or do you? No, you, we use the same cover if it's not ripped. But okay. for chopping it down and stuff, like when I first got onto the 250, I was too short to touch the ground. So we sagged up the suspension and then uh, I chopped the seat a bunch. And yeah. that helped me out a lot and then I had to add it in later. So right? you cut the foam down and then re put Yeah, the yeah, in. you gotta shave it down so it's nice and smooth and everything. And then you saved it my, that. I broke my seat base riding with Jason in the sand pit. And Ayrton was taller then, so he took all of the pieces out of that seat and built it all back up. Yeah. So have you had any of these fly off? Yeah. <laughs> have you? Yeah. Is that why you I'd got a few extra clamps on her? I'd be lying if I said no. I also did one time, I got a cherry about an inch oh. in diameter and it blew out. Just showered sparks. Oh. oh. Oh, you yeah, had it under. For a minute. I you never. Get some safety glasses. You never really want to. Have you got some? Fun? Yeah, I do. You never really want to be oh, in direct fire. Of it. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah, Dad's had the plug shoot off, dude. <laughs> shoot right across the oh, shop. Well, it hit the roof. There, you can, in our old shop, you can see the dents in the roof because it happened a couple times. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just don't want to be in between that. I got a hole in my uh, tank on my compressor, so I just leave it shut off all the time, eh? Oh, yeah. It's just a, a hole so that... So I just turn it on when I need it. And yeah, block of wood, you can just clean the tip Oh, his tube, he's got a tip clean on. How much we got? How much would we like? What do you <laughs> usually use? 60. Yeah. And then if that's not enough, then I'm going to eat. Okay. So you're all certified now as a welder too? Not, no. 
three months and I'll be done my course and then you have to have, I think it's 1,200 hours to be certified. Oh yeah, so you've got to get, you can your, six, but so. can you work for your dad and get hours um, that way? Or? Well, I'll be working for the same company as my dad, so I'm maybe... Oh, you are working for them already? No, not yet, no. After I'm done my course, I... Oh, oh that was your, don't, your, that's your my end? Plan. That's my nice. plan, that's my plan. Good, so that won't be hard for you to get your hours, and then you'll be... And then I'm going to be a certified C. I'm going to go back to school. It's a three-month course to get your B ticket. And it's like 1800 bucks or something, which isn't bad. Yeah. Get my B, and then you have to have a certain amount of hours to become a certified B, right? Right, and then what's and then after that, eh? Is I'm there another gonna, one yeah, after there's, that? There's, there's A. a? I'm not gonna get my a, so that's that's more specialty. It's like yeah. Well, I thought that's what uh, your dad's got. That doesn't. No, he's no? got a C. I'm working on. Oh, this. really? Yes. Well, we we'll leave that part out. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's a Z welder. <laughs> okay. This is where am I? Can I stand without getting shot? There. I think I'm out of harm's way there. Well, hopefully. Okay. What kind of coating is that on there? Is that just paint? Just paint. It actually worked out pretty good, that paint. Stayed on there and pretty scratch resistant anyways. I stopped painting my pipes. <laughs> it takes a beating. Look at that, eh? This could be fun because it's got two layers. Might not get the heat in there. We had to cut mine off, didn't we? Yeah, we might have to do that on this one. Is it building pressure here? Well, it did once. Yeah, I think we might have to remove that tag. It's yeah, pretty it's neat to see it. Uh, the, the dent, yeah, rise right out of it, just right before your eyes. Yeah, your uh, gnarly pipe, it was mangled pretty good. Oh, it was, it was flattened right out. It's still pretty bad. Yeah. I think I've whacked it again, and then uh, now it's pushing up against the radiator. It's just barely touching it, but it's enough that it's, it's vibrating and stuff, and it's wearing on the, on the bottom of the rat. That's not good. Well, the rats are really expensive. What did Morgan pay? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it came with brand new tires. Brand new tires and a worn out piston. Tires are probably easier to switch for them. <laughs> Coming out? Oh yeah. 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 Pretty quick process, really, eh? It is. I remember when we used to do this, we'd cut the pipes in half and hammer it out. And Reweld the pipe and drill a hole in drill, the other side. Yeah, drill a hole in the other side, make a big mess out of it. So, do you think the a lot of guys do this? Know about no, this and do this, do or this. do people just replace the pipe? Get some no, big you dent. Can, you could hire other people to do it. So, uh, hmm. is there a flathead screwdriver on that table over there? To knock the tab off? Yeah, we might have to. That's the pro circuit identification. Yeah, you better make sure you get that. One. You gonna put it back on? Yeah, no. You want a little grinder to yeah, grind knock them it. welds off? Yeah. Well, I was thinking I'd just open this up a little bit, maybe. And then I could cheat and get it. Oh, it should shoot her right in there. Satisfy that woman